And good evening, I'm Liz Bonas filling in for Paula. And I'm Kyle Inskeeb. Jurors heard the defendant's voice for the first time today. This as we now start week six of the Pike County Massacre trial. Our local 12's James Pilcher joining us now live from Waverly with wiretap recordings played in court today. James, good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. So these wiretaps were put in place by state agents right as the Wagners crossed back into the United States in Montana in 2017. Four days later, they overheard George Wagner talking to his young son about those very same law enforcement agents. This is the voice of George Wagner IV in the family SUV shortly after the Wagners re-entered the United States and after all four Wagners were interviewed by the Ohio Bureau of Criminal Investigation at the Montana border with Canada. He's talking to his young son, Bullvine, about those same agents. Just seconds later, he gets even more emotional when talking to his son. What they want, the people at the border that come to you and says this, they want to kill your uncle Kate. They want to kill your animals. They want to kill your papa and me for no reason. Because they are bad people. Wagner is on trial for his alleged role in the April 2016 killings of eight members of the Roden and Gilly families. Prosecutors allege the entire family, including George, his parents Billy and Angela, and his younger brother Jake, either participated in or helped plan the crimes. BCI agents recorded the Wagners in May and June of 2017, shortly after identifying the family as suspects. They eventually arrested all four in 2018, and last year, Jake and Angela pleaded guilty to the murders or helping plot the crimes. Some of what was said inside that SUV couldn't be understood or recorded because of road noise. The previous conversation came as the vehicle was stopped. In that same recording, George and Angela wonder if Bullvine's mother and George's ex-wife Tabitha had been at the border when agents stopped the family, leading to this outburst about custody from George when talking to his brother on the phone. I'm bringing all hell with me on this one. Now, prosecutors played other parts of conversations between both George and his family and other family members. Plus, they introduced new evidence showing from a seized laptop that they took there at the border that shows hacked Facebook messages and other pictures of potential murder weapons. I'll have that evidence coming up for you at 6 o'clock. Live in Waverly, James Pilcher, Local 12 News. All right, James, thank you for that update. We do know and want you to know that Local 12 News has continuing coverage of the Pike County Massacre trial. You can watch a live stream from the courtroom at local12.com.